right, well I have two new things today. One, I am shooting this video on my brand new Sony DSC RX100 Mark II. I never thought I'd get it because it was too expensive, but due to my wife being pretty badass and surprised me with gift cards, I was able to get it. And I was able to get the op an open box, which was $250 less than the brand new one. So go to BestBuy.com. So anyways, um, the last video you saw, I was trying to build a mobile spraying unit and um, I was trying to do it for uh, under 50 bucks, or 50 bucks was my, my limit. So the problem was um, I had everything going, so I got that nice old lady shopping cart and put a five gallon bucket in it, worked good. Um, had a pump and the pump PSI was okay, um, but it was only about 25 PSI. So it wasn't really spraying too much. So then I went ahead and bought a pump and then didn't really think about it. The pump barbs were 3 8 inch and not quarter inch like the all the other um, stuff I had. So by the time I had to buy everything new, I needed to, or I was going to be um, close to about $60. <clears throat> so I went on Tractor Supply's website and they had a nice sprayer, powered sprayer and everything for $79. Well, I called my stepdad and I asked him if he had a wagon, and he did. So this is free. That whole wagon was free. It's really good shape. But I didn't want to drive all the way out to Chardon, which is 45 minutes one way, and then 45 minutes the opposite uh, opposite way from my house. So I'd have been driving for you know about an hour and a half for um, just this and the cart. So I went out to what's called Rural King, which is like the old farm and fleet store, and bought this. It's a country, country way um, sprayer. It's a nine gallon sprayer, so it's bigger than the the bucket that I had. It comes with its own pump, its own system, and everything. Came with these strap down ties, so if I ever wanted to put this on my tractor, I could. Um, of course, it's 12 volt, <clears throat> and comes with its own wand. So, excuse me. So this whole thing right here was 59 bucks and I can't beat that so only ten dollars more out of my budget and I had this whole unit and what I'm gonna do is I have a trickle charger and I'm gonna not a trickle charger I have a regular battery charger so I'm gonna charge this battery <clears throat> but I'm going to mount a solar panel from Harbor Freight once I take the LED out of it and then it will have the um, I can let it charge however long I want to charge it for so that way the battery won't go dead <clears throat> excuse me but anyways this is it and I like it so I'll show you here real quick let's just turn on the pump so you hear the pump going on here's the sprayer right here And that's the light spray. It looks like it's heavier than this, but it's a pretty light spray. But it does really well, and it does a nice stream too. Um, the only thing that I did to this was it came with a really crappy six foot hose. Um, and it was a quarter inch inside diameter. And this is, uh, this is just a, a 45 watt or a 45 PSI pump. And I mean, it was some thick walled rubber, but you couldn't move it around any, anywhere, and it's only six feet, so I was like, I'm not dealing with that. So I went to Home Depot and got some uh, three quarter inch or uh, three eighths inch inside diameter vinyl, vinyl tubing, and uh, this is good to 50 psi um, at, 80, at 80 degrees, so um, well within the limit. Because we don't really don't spray when it's really hot, we spray usually in the morning. Um, or in the spring and the fall when it's cooler outside so uh, but yeah it's 20 feet so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda clean this up get the battery charged uh, I'll probably put a bigger battery on there but I'm very satisfied with this uh, for just sixty dollars and it definitely works I just wish it was nice outside so I could test it um, hopefully within the next uh, few weeks we'll maybe get um, above 35 degrees and we can spray our um, dormant spray again so oh chicken update we had a chicken fight and Dora who's the oldest chicken 
got her butt whooped, literally. They pecked the crap out of her butt, as you can see. So we went and cleaned it quite a bit. She's just limping a little bit, but she's doing better. So we have her in here for a few days. We take her out to go for her freedom walks, but she's doing well. Hasn't laid today, but she's been laying since the fight, so. Alrighty. Well, you know the drill. Hit the thumbs up button, and I hope you enjoyed.